Why do cardiologists prescribe Lovaza? So for those of you who don't know, Omacor and Lovaza are omega-3, DHA, and EPA uh, combination pills. This should not be prescribed. I personally have never prescribed this medication, and I don't think it's been prescribed in the last 10 or 15 years. When it first came out, I think it was like 2001 maybe or 2002, something like that. It was called Omacor in other places, other countries, but in America it was called Lovaza. This is a combo of DHA and EPA. It turned out while it may have helped lower triglycerides a little, it really didn't have a huge effect on anything else or outcomes. In fact, every time we've prescribed people a fish oil, the incidence of atrial fibrillation goes up and you end up with a elevation in their LDL cholesterol. So they've pretty much gotten rid of Lovaza and Omacor. Nobody really prescribes that nor recommends it. The guidelines do not recommend any type of fish oil supplement. If you read the most recent American Heart Association and American College of Cardiology guidelines, they state very, very specifically, I think it was number nine on their uh, summary, they, they do not recommend any type of fish oil uh, supplements. Now there is another prescription fish oil, not fish oil, but EPA called Vasipa, in some studies, it did show some improvement, um, and in others, in others, others doubted the results because the placebo was inflammatory and all this. Sure, you know, it's debatable. Personally, I don't prescribe it. Um, I don't find a lot of utility in it. If somebody's maximized on everything else and everything else is well controlled, I highly doubt you would need uh, any of these things to help.